Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to share with you a little reasoning. And this is something I really feel like we need to think about. I'm going to read scripture as usual, and I will follow with Pat's two cents. Now listen to this. This is Psalms 103, starting with verse 1. Okay. And I'm not reading the whole chapter, but somewhere maybe around 10 verses or so. Yeah. Mm, well, let's see. Like a father. Okay. I think I will go to verse 14. Can you stand that much word, you guys? Ooh. Let's see. How many of you cut the uh, the video off short? <laughs> I'm telling you, God's word has life to it. It really does. If we would just allow ourselves to partake and not be in such a hurry to go grab a cell phone. <clears throat> yeah. Starting at verse 1. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. You hear what I'm saying? You know, what we don't always remember is we sometimes, because God doesn't always visit his wrath on people when they initially do wrong, we almost see him as a patsy, an invisible patsy that that is sitting up there or nonchalant, totally oblivious to all the wicked things that are going on down on the earth. And we want to see people get their just do right now. And we don't understand how merciful, how merciful God is, but some of his mercy is not only because he's kind, some of his mercy is because he understands. And he not only understands what causes the crippledness in a person to make them so bizarre, as we may see, but there are other people involved with that one person's life. And other people may be way more, way, how can I say, they could be much further, worse off without that person in their life. So even though that person may not be the ideal, God sees maybe their offspring or someone that they're involved with that he wants to be blessed. And that person may only be here long because it's going to take time to get the blessing to that person that they really want to bless. It doesn't always mean that because he's blessing people who do wrong, that it's for their sake. Now, yes, the scripture does say the goodness of the Lord leads us to repentance. However, there are times where the goodness of the Lord is, is going through uh, Mr. A to get to Mr. B or through 
uh, Madam C to get to daughter Z. Whatever the case may be, there are places and positions and strategies and plans and layouts that God has to go by in order to work his plan. And his plan may be over here, but everybody sees it looks like he's he's blessing this one over here. And this one doesn't even seem to be the kind that anybody would want to bless. Yet, they're getting the blessing. Huh? Yeah, but we have to remember God's ways are above our ways and his thoughts, our thoughts, the way above our thoughts. So we can't always figure out what the deal is. Have you ever played chess with somebody or a good game of bid whist or spades or whatever? You're playing this game and it seems like the person, you're winning left and right, boy, you're getting all these good cards and oh man, you're doing it. But you're not paying attention to what has already been shown. You think you have, but you're missing some of it. And somebody's sitting there nice and quietly, knowing they either have a winning hand or knowing that they got checkmate. Before you even made check, they know they got checkmate because they know from the move they made, you have to make certain moves. And they just lured you into their little trap. Well, there are times God is working plans out. There's a scripture that says, for I know the plans I have for you. There, I'm, I'm telling you, God knows what he's doing. When he worked through the, the financial crisis, there were so many people that lost. Yes, that was hell on wheels. That was a bad time. But there were certain people, certain people that could never have gotten a home. That that was the only way they could get a home. So there are times that what God does is he'll have a person up here, way up here, and he'll have another person way down here. And what he'll do is he'll shake things up and he's, he's leveling the playing field. And before you know it, this person that's been up all their lives, they're scraping the bottom because all hell is breaking loose. But this person who never had a, a, a pot to, yeah, a pot or a window, this person all of a sudden has reached a level where they could get their hands on something that would never have been within reach. Because God has been eyeballing them all their lives and he has chosen a particular blessing for them. And there are certain others he's got his eye beamed on. I mean, he's got a mark on him. And he is going to shake some things up to get some people their blessings. And it may look like those people have to go through hell for a minute. But God knows what he is doing. So yes, it looks like some people never get payday for what they do wrong. But you have to remember, there is an eternity. And some things are because of the people he wants to bless that some people seem to get away with their mess. Trust in God. He knows what he's doing. He knows the plans. He knows what, what he's purposed in your life. He knows. And remember this, look back on your life and remember all the things you've done that you know God would not have been pleased with. And tell me, did you do time? No. Did you get sued? No. Did you die? No. There are so many things we can look at in our lives and realize God really seriously has not dealt with us according to our iniquities. Am I right or am I wrong? All right, think about it now. The person you stole from and you never told them, that's jail time right there. Did you do any jail time? No. The people you said you would pay back and you never remembered to pay them back, did they take you to court? 
the car accident that you should have not only gotten a ticket for, but maybe you might have, it might have been warranted that you would get your whole license taken, suspended, whatever they call it. Think about that. Or you are on probation and you cross state lines for a family emergency. But you know if you had been pulled over by the cops, you would have been kicked right back in the system. Did God allow that? Were you in jail because you deserve to be in jail? I would say 90% of the time, yeah. Some of you are in jail for crimes you did not commit. There is something God's going to get out of that too. As long as you handle it God's way, that thing will benefit you at the end. There's a scripture that says, that's why you have to operate out of love. God has not forgotten your labor of love. Even in an adverse situation like that, even if you are doing time when you are have never committed that crime and somebody used you as the decoy or they used you as the scapegoat while the real, the real criminal is out there laughing all the way to the bank. But baby, there's still a hell for them to pay. And you may be paying now and you may be going through some changes, but trust me when I say this. If you put your trust, all your trust in God, in spite of it all, I am telling you, God could turn that thing around so much for you that you'll have a lifestyle everybody, everybody will be jealous of. There are times when people get theirs up front, right up front. They, they, they got the money, they got the silver spoon, they got the connections, they got the, the, the clout from their family, they got the name, they got the fame, they got everything. They got the looks. Hey, baby, they got it all, it seems. And then there are some of you that don't get yours for a very, very, very long time. And it seems like, well, wow. Why? Why does it seem like some always get theirs and others never, never do? But I'm going to tell you this. We're looking between, okay, I use my mouse. We're looking between the beginning and the end of time. This is our little box. This is our reality. But God's reality I mean, it's a continuum, baby. And we have no idea what God has stored up for those of you who have suffered unjustly. I'm telling you, God has not forgotten your labor of love and he will not continue in love. Whatever you do, however adverse it gets, continue to go to God for your love, for your peace, for your stamina, for your ability to deal. Keep going to him. He will shoot you in the arm. I guarantee it. He will give you all you need to make it through. And there comes a time I'm telling you the truth. There comes a time when you seek him, you will find him. I don't care if you're in the jailhouse, in the prison, if you're in the basement. If you seek him, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart. There are rewards God gives for an intimate relationship. And there are rewards, eternal rewards, that you will get that will make you totally forget what you went through on the face of this earth because you went through it his way. God is not a rewarder of oppression. And many of you have been oppressed and he knows it. He knows your name. He knows what you're going through. He knows how far down you've been pushed and how hard you've been stifled and how unfair life has been for you. But God has something for you, baby, that nobody, I'm telling you, nobody can cancel but you. Don't cancel. 
because God is not a man that he should lie. And he will bless you, bless you, bless you, bless your socks off if you hang in and do it his way. That's the hardest part, is denying our flesh and doing things God's way, even when we're being done wrong. But remember this, Jesus did it, and he did it sinlessly. There is a reward for you, and it's magnanimous. It's, it's so great words cannot describe. Whether you get it here on this earth or whether seemingly it stays unfair until you draw your last breath, you keep the faith, buddy. I'm telling you, you keep the faith, please. Do not be offended in Jesus. Be offended by people and ask God to get all that anger and all that hurt out. I'm telling you, God can get all of it out of you even if the situation doesn't change, but he will reward you. Mm. I feel that so strong. He wants you to know he is mindful of you and he has not forsaken you. Amen. Okay. Be encouraged. I hope that lifts your spirits. Ooh. God bless you. And know that he is the lover of your soul and the lifter up of your head. And yes, you have benefits. Forget not all his benefits. He has not forgotten you. And he has not forgotten what you've gone through. God bless you. As you seek him with all your might. God bless you. Your redemption, as the scripture says, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh in the name of Jesus. Oh, mm, mm, mm. God bless you and amen. <laughs>